Hi guys, my name is Barry from Bonco Wellness. Uh, today I'm going to go through a full body home workout using the PTP power tube. So the first exercise we're going to perform is the standing chest press. I have attached the little attachment to the door, close the door. The, the desired resistance strength tube through the strap and connect the handles to each side of the strap. So again we perform three sets of 10 repetitions, split the stance, so either stand with your right foot forward or your left foot forward, grab the straps, nice strong posture, chest up and then we start. So squeeze at the top and control the movement right back again. So as much as the shoulder mobility will allow you to go, get it back as far as you can, then use the chest muscles, you can loosen the grip to use the chest muscles a little bit more, squeeze the chest, meet the arms or the hands at the top and nice and slow and controlled right the way back. Now try and really get the chest working on every repetition, slow and controlled. So next up we have the seated row. I have just doubled up the power tubes so I've added the red one onto this, drop the door strap down a little bit more and then we're good to go. Same as every exercise, keep your posture as good as you can. So with this one, bend the knees, you're onto your heels, chest is up and again use the, the muscles that you're trying to train or trying to work with each exercise. So we're using the back muscles here. Pull, squeeze the shoulder blades together, pause for a second and control the movement back out. As soon as you lose resistance, you go again. Pull, pause for a second. Next up, we have the standing bicep curl. I have gone for the midway resistance band at the moment. I tried the heavy one, thought I was stronger than I am, didn't work out, so here we are. So start off, connect the handles. You can either stand with one foot in the middle and do your bicep curls, or stand with two feet in the middle and you can add resistance by just bringing your feet a little bit further apart. We try and have both resistance bands nice and even, so the resistance on both the left and the right is the same throughout. Nice and slow, controlled again. Squeeze the bicep at the top, keep the bicep contracted and control the movement back down. Next up, we have squats using the power tubes. So you start off, step into the power tubes, feet are about hip width apart for this one. Turn the handles around, so palms facing forward. So you start like that. The handles are up beside each shoulder. There's no need to push them up any higher. Let them sit on each shoulder, hold that position, and then we start. So again, feet hip width apart, and we start our squats. Deep squat, or as deep as you can into each squat, and then you power up. So if we aim for one, two, three seconds into the squat, you can power up. exercise is a shoulder press. This time I've lightened the strength of the resistance band. I'm just going to step one foot in, so I'm splitting the stance for this exercise. Again, have it even so both resistance is the same on right and left for this exercise. Strong stance, back upright, chest up, face the handles of the resistance bands forward and that is your starting position. And we go Push straight up, control the movement down. I'm forcing them to work that little bit harder throughout each repetition. So the next exercise is glute kickbacks. So what I did here, we set up the door strap again. I fed the grey power tube through the strap and doubled it up so connected both ends, so both connections onto the little ankle strap here. Um, it looks like a very simple, very slight movement, but if you, if you exaggerate the movement and just pause at the back of each movement each time, you're really going to target the glute muscles and you will know about it before too long. The burn is fairly good on these ones. That's probably as far back as we need to go, depending on the resistance tube you have connected. Pause for a second, squeeze the glute muscle and get back in beside your standing leg, your standing foot. Out, slow controlled movement. Kick back, 
squeeze the glue. Next up, we will do some lunges. Step one foot in between, right in the middle of your power tube, and step the other foot back, probably about two foot back behind. Both legs are straight to start. I like the squat position. Turn the handle so the palms are facing forward. That's your starting position. And it's just you stay in the same spot throughout. So from here, you go up onto the toes on the back foot, drop down, slightly touch the knee of the back leg onto the ground, then you power up through the sole of the front foot. exercise we're going to do is to target the triceps, the muscles at the back of the arms. What I like to do is to connect the door strap to the top of the door this time. I went to the right resistance band. I connect the handle, but I don't hold onto the handle, I hold onto the strap. Just above the actual handle part, we do single arm, so 10 repetitions, 3 sets on each arm before you take the break. So the slight bend of the knees here, Keep the elbow in tight to the body. So you want to really pull down, push the baby finger against the handle. So you're really pushing down and you're really trying to tense up the tricep muscle at the bottom of the movement. So push and away from your body, squeeze that muscle and then control the movement back up until as soon as you lose resistance, you go again. The PTP power tubes are the best I've seen. Uh, they come with five different different resistance straps, uh, different strengths, uh, so you can cater to everyone's needs from beginner to advanced. They also come with a load of different attachments, different straps, some handles, door straps that you can attach the resistance tubes to to perform exercises such as rows, etc., including ankle straps, and also this handy little travel bag that all of this equipment will fit into nice and neatly. You can just strap it up and away you go, bring it wherever you go. So no excuses not to have your little home gym on tow at all times. <laughs>